I'm starting over. So before I go and talk about all the juicy stuff in terms of my business and what exactly I mean by starting over, I kind of owe you guys an explanation as to why I stopped making videos, what I've been doing, where I've been, and why I'm back on the platform. So for those of you who have you know watched some of my older videos um, before this video, you probably know that I stopped making videos back in around April 2023. And the reason I stopped is because I just didn't feel like I was I had enough to talk about. I just didn't feel like I was able to give you guys enough value that I wasn't, you know, this supreme genius guru who had all the answers, who could show you guys the path to the light. <laughs> um, but really, the easy way of saying that or the simpler way of saying that is I just didn't feel like I was good enough to talk in front of the camera to you guys, right? I didn't feel like, yeah, that, that I had the sauce. Uh, because it, when you if, I, if you really think about it, I was just like the rest of you, right? I was just this random dude who had somehow found this agency model, somehow got his way to 10K a month, you know, made some videos about it, became somewhat popular because of them. But really, I didn't know what the fuck I was doing, right? And I think part of me felt like I had to uphold this, this weird, perfect image of being this guy who just came into the scene and scaled his business quickly and then, you know, became this superstar. But obviously that was stupid. <laughs> um, and in this video, I just want to talk about, you know, what kind of went into my thinking there, what I've learned about that and about myself and about business over the last year, what I've been doing this past year, um, as well as, you know, what my plan is and why I am back on YouTube and also the current business that I'm running. So the reason I, uh, or rather what happened over the last year is, you know, after I stopped my YouTube channel, I really wanted to just focus on my business, right? I wanted to come back in like three to six months and be like, okay guys, look, I scaled to 50K a month. I scaled to 100K a month, um, which obviously didn't happen. Um, and there are a number of reasons for that. One is, well, you know, the, the main reasons are the same ones that you guys are probably running into when trying to start or grow your own agencies, right? The first one is I just wasn't getting incredible client results, right? I was, and which was, which made sense because I wasn't outsourcing to like a white label agency or anything that was really good. I was really starting a lot of these services for the first time. And that applies to all of the different agencies that I started, right? I am over the past year, I started like three or four different agencies, different services, different platforms, um, which had some pros and cons, you know, it, 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 a lot of it could be seen as wasted time, but I think I learned a lot of things, which I will talk about later. Um, but I did start like three or four different agencies. Um, I got clients for all of them, made some money off of all of them, but it really came down to the same problems, which was, I didn't like running any of them. And again, part of that comes down to not getting great client results right off the bat with the first few clients, which was a little bit unreasonable to expect again, because of the lack of experience I had. Um, but the second thing, which was equally important, um, is that I just don't see myself running these agencies long-term, right? And I know for a lot of people, they see agencies as this model where you can just, it's like this short-term cash grab, right? Where you just make 10, 20, 50K a month in profit, and then you go do something else, or you just go have fun with your life. But for me, I just didn't see it that way, right? Um, my big problem, and the reason I'm starting over is because... I wanted to run a business that I actually could commit to, um, at least for this semi long term. Um, and for me, running ads was not one of those things, right? And just for some context, um, the three or four businesses I started was, you know, at first I had my YouTube ads agency, then I had my, and then I started a TikTok ads agency, then an Instagram ad agency, and then now I'm running a new agency, which I will talk about um, what that is. It is not an ad agency. Um, but the conclusion I came to was that running ads kind of sucks. Not that I don't think it's a good model. Not that I don't think you can make a lot of money from it. I just don't like running ads for people or being an ad agency. And one of the main reasons is because, you know, your client is just always breathing down your neck, um, you know, about your ad spend, about the ROAS, even if you're getting results, even if you're booking calls, it's just not a relationship I enjoy, right? Because it's, it's always like every month you're like, you're worried whether you're going to get fired because you're not reaching like this 
three ROAS, it's four ROAS. And for me, I just didn't really like the model. And I also felt like there was, it just wasn't a place where I felt like I could thrive. Um, and again, I think it's a fantastic model. A lot of people are killing it with the ad model. I just don't want to do it, right? I also hate the sign and outsource model, right? Where you just go send thousands of outreach, you hop on a bunch of sales calls, you sign a bunch of clients with you know these big, big promises and guarantees, and then you just ship it off to this contractor or white label agency who will somehow get these amazing results for your clients, and you'll somehow scale a seven-figure agency off of these people who essentially run your business for you. And don't get me wrong, right? This model works, um, especially if you have, you know, if you're paying a big salary to a really good contractor or you are working with a really good white label agency. The problem is it's not really your business again, right? Because the <laughs> for 99% of you, you aren't even good enough at lead generation or sales to turn it into a business where you're hypothetical great marketer is going to be able to get results for all these clients because you can't even find these clients so i think this model makes sense for people who already have the sales and lead generation down um and you know are willing to kind of share their business with someone else again that wasn't me right i wanted to be i wanted to run a business that i essentially wanted to be world class at what i do right whatever like i don't have any interest in building this big ass want like 500 clients agency that sells for you know 50 million dollars after i build it up um i hate working with clients that i do not have a personal relationship with that i don't want to personally see win um and that i don't actually enjoy working with one-on-one and for me like i started entrepreneurship for really one reason right it wasn't so that i could become a billionaire it wasn't so that i could build a huge ass team it was just because i wanted to do what I want with who I want and how I want. And so with this in mind, I kind of had to go back to the drawing board several times throughout the last year um, and just think about like, okay, like what kind of business actually makes sense for me? And there's a whole long story as to like how I actually finally landed on, you know, the current model. Um, but basically I just wanted to find something that I could stick to for long term that I could see myself trying to become the best in the world at, or at least really, really, really good at for the next three to five years. I wanted something that I could work, uh, I wanted a model where I could work with a handful of really good clients that could pay me a lot, that I could get really good results for, um, that I also enjoy working with, and something that I was already kind of like enjoying and kind of good at myself so that I didn't have to start from scratch and learn something completely brand new. So with that in mind, what am I doing now? So <laughs> I am now running a YouTube organic agency. Um, and as you can see, there's a common theme of me and YouTube, right? And what I'm specifically doing is I am helping info businesses, you know, coaches, courses, um, consultants, basically grow their YouTube channels and scale their client acquisition through their organic channel. And I started this business around, I think two and a half months now. I started around the end of October, beginning of November. I am currently sitting at around 10 K a month with a handful of clients and, um, things are going well. Um, I am, I have some really cool deals in the pipeline, but you know, I'll talk about that in a future video, but obviously now that I am back on YouTube, I will talk about, you know, how I started the business, how I'm running it, how I do the outreach, the sales, the service delivery, the operations, all the good stuff. Right. And of course that brings me back to the question of why am I actually making content again? Why did I decide to come back to YouTube? So the reason I'm making this video is because it's the same reason I started making videos two years ago, right? It's, it's the, and that is, I just wanted to help and teach as much as possible, as many people as possible, because you know, it's something I enjoy doing, right? I enjoy sitting here talking to you guys and helping you improve your lives, build your businesses with the experience that I have. And honestly, like I never even, wanted to start an agency. It was just something that I, need, I, I needed to make money a year ago. And so I somehow found success with it. And, you know, I am now an SMMA YouTuber, but my initial goal has always been to make videos, to help people, to inspire people, to educate people. And this is a conversation I've had with many of my mentors, like at least a few of my mentors over the last, you know, six months. And all of them pretty much said the same thing to me, right? They're like, dude, 
it makes zero sense for you to not be posting on YouTube because, you know, not only does it align with your big goal, but because, like, people want to see the the realness, right? They want to see the journey. And when you listen to all these people talk about, like, all these successful people talk about, you know, their personal brand, every single one of them say, man, I just wish I documented the journey on the way up. And that kind of goes back to what I was talking about earlier, right? One of the reasons why I have left YouTube is because I kind of had this, you know, false, stupid idea that, you know, somehow I had to be this perfect guru who never failed, who was always on this upward trajectory, you know, who, you know, got his first client, hit 10K a month. And then the next step would be to, oh, I made 50K a month. I'm, you know, I made a seven figure agency, right? And that was, you know, the illusion that I felt like I had to live up to after my initial success. Because everything kind of happened at once, right? At the beginning of um, 2023, I had, you know, made my first 10K month. I quit my job. Um, I was blowing up on YouTube. And like, it kind of got to my head where I was like, oh shit, like, I feel like I have to keep this up now. I feel like I have to be this, you know, infallible um, agency owner, influencer who never screwed up, who was always, you know, succeeding, who was always winning. And I thought that that was going to be the thing that inspired and helped my audience. But looking back now and having spoken with my mentors, I realized that probably is not the best way to go about it, right? I realized the reason you guys watch my channel, the I realized the... The most value I could give you guys is by showing all the mistakes that I make, all the um, ups and the downs, and showing you what it really looks like to run a business, to start a business in your first year, in your second year, and you know the reality of actually trying to create the life that you want. So uh, let's quickly go over kind of what actually happened in the last eight to ten months that I've been away from this channel. So the last year has just been me just going through a lot of shit. <laughs> a lot of it was honestly personal shit, um, just working through um, traumas, insecurities. You know, I was living alone in this dusty ass city with no people, no cute girls, not a lot of food. It wasn't a whole lot to do except just kind of sit there and kind of hate my life, right? <laughs> and I had to figure out what I wanted to do, why things weren't going the way I wanted them to go. And why I was always on this kind of like up and down trajectory of just not really commit, committing to something, not being able to push past a certain point, you know, that 10K per month mark and why I always felt this need to start from zero. And one of the big problems that, you know, which I already talked about is was just this this need to be like perfect, right? Trying to feel my ego and create this perfect image online and it was really more for myself than try than like a business decision or like a social media decision it was just a and you know this kind of goes back to the traumas thing i was talking about earlier which is like or this insecurity thing i was talking about earlier which is like i felt this need to like i i couldn't f allow myself to not be this to not have this perfect image i felt like i would be letting myself down if I wasn't constantly growing and not just growing, but showing people that I was growing, showing people that I was always doing well, that I had no weaknesses. And that's something I had kind of had to figure out over the last um, year, which is like, like, what am I doing? Why am I doing it? Why do I have this need to, you know, look good, which is very normal. Everyone has this, you know, this ego thing, but what I noticed for me was that it was getting in the way of a lot of my um, business and life decisions, right? And that's something I've had to overcome over the last little while. Um, but, but of course, there were also some logistical business things that I had to work through this past year, right? How do I get client results? How do I um, build a business that, you know, was actually successful? How do I do something that aligns with what I actually want out of life? Um, and how do I actually get good at being at, at business, right? So, so one thing I did kind of stick to that I was consistent with, um, despite starting four different agencies was I stuck to the info niche, right? I tried to do, um, YouTube ads, TikTok ads, Instagram ads, um, all this like sales and appointment setting for coaches, right? That was, you know, <laughs> this is, I would say this is still 
you know, despite how hard it is to get results for this niche, it is still my favorite niche and it is something I have stuck to even with my new agency. And, you know, fortunately over the last year, despite having failed so much, I was still able to learn a lot of new skills and a lot of new knowledge, right? I was, I was, I became much better at sales. Um, I learned how to do appointment setting. I learned how to build funnels a lot better. I learned how to do content creation for this niche, um, short form and long form. And also even how to build offers from the ground up and build an entire coaching program from scratch, right? Like I have one client right now. Um, he was like making like 50 bucks a month when we first started. And now he's on, he's pretty much on track to making 10 K this month, um, which is really exciting. But that was like, I had to build like his entire business for him. And so I did manage to learn a lot, but obviously I'm not like, you know, doing crazy numbers with my own business yet, but you know, I'm very grateful that it actually happened and that I was able to go through and learn these lessons. Now, needless to say, one of the most important lessons I learned this past year is the importance of focus, right? But I think there's something that kind of precedes focus because while it is important to be able to stick to something for long enough to actually see great results, it's also kind of important to be able to stick to something that you actually want to stick to. And honestly, if your goal is to just make 10K a month as fast as possible, you probably don't need to go through all this shit, right? You can just start a fucking like um, med spa, SMMA, and then just close like 10 clients with a bunch of ads and you'll be set, right? Well, it will you know be a little bit expensive, but it won't take that long. And you pretty much have all these copy paste systems that are available these days for free. But again, for me, I wanted to build a business that like I was actually like that I actually enjoyed, right? Even if it's something that I could outsource, even if it's something that, you know, I would eventually stop running. I wanted like if I was going to build an agency properly, I wanted it to be something I could commit to personally for the next three to five years and actually like enjoy the process itself. Because again, I want to I want to do work that that I enjoy, right? I don't I didn't fucking quit my job. I didn't go through all this pain just to basically give myself another job that I don't even like. So with that being said, what are my plans with my new agency? So I don't want to build the biggest, you know, YouTube organic agency. I don't want to like have like a hundred clients because that honestly wouldn't even be feasible because I would have to hire like a hundred video editors, for example. I just want to basically have an agency where I have the best clients, a small number of clients that I can actually partner up with, that I enjoy working with, and that I can get really good results for, right? And a lot of the guys I look up to in this space, like, you know, Brian Moncada, Jeremy Moser, uh, Nick Rogers, like these guys basically all operate on this model, right? They get really good, or they have a team that gets really good at one thing, um, and they basically get really good results for their clients, and they work with a few hand-select, super high-quality clients. And that's eventually the place I want to get to myself. Because my entire life, I've always enjoyed being good at things, right? I enjoy being competent at everything that I do. And if I'm going to offer something to my clients, if I'm going to get really good results for my clients, I want it to be something that I personally understand really well. I can get results better than, you know, 99% of people in my competitors, in my industry, right? And at the same time, I also want to give my clients the best possible experience. So again, I don't think this is the ideal path for a lot of you. Um, I think if you want to get to 10K a month as fast as possible, you know, you, you can probably just do the outsource model, right? Just, you know, learn sales, learn lead generation, and then just offer a really easy to fulfill service. Um, for me, I would rather start that or, or have that more boutique agency where I can actually just become world-class at what I do and have my work and have my results and have my clients tied to my name. Um, that's just how I like to operate. That's the kind of, you know, brand and reputation I want to make for myself. And so I'm going to take the longer and slightly more difficult path. So with that out of the way, let's talk about this channel, right? Obviously, I've kind of let this channel die. Um, I don't expect to get any quick momentum anytime soon. Um, but obviously, I do want to continue by my goal, my mission, my purpose, my direction of making as much good quality content as possible, reaching and, and helping as many people as possible with my content. And so going forward, I'm going to just make, you know, I'm going to probably experiment with a bunch of different types of contents. I don't, I'm not going to try to grow quickly or anything. Um, I'm going to show you the good, the bad, the ugly of me trying to run my business. And again, I want to show you, you know, what it's like to, to run my business, right? I don't know what it's like to run a, you know, seven figure um, dentist SMMA, right? Like that's not going to be what I do. I'm not going to talk about Facebook ads and go high level. I'm just going to show you what I do, what's working for me and what I think is the best approach. If you want to live and, and 
create a similar lifestyle to me, right? Where you get good at what you do, you want to enjoy your work, and you want to pick something that is more aligned to you as a person, and you want to feel proud of the work that you do for your clients. Not that I'm saying, <laughs> you know, that these people running SMMAs aren't proud of their work and they're not doing, getting great results for their clients. I just want to do it my way and I want to document that for you guys so you basically have a different point of view. Because if you want like the best information on how to run a regular local business SMMA, I'm not the guy to go to, right? I'm going to say that upfront. If you want to just run like a 10K per month, 20K per month, even 100K per month, right? Like dental dental agency, there, there are channels out there that are doing a much better job than me telling you how to actually do that. That's not me. Um, the whole point of this channel has always been to just document my journey and to show you how I do it. And hopefully that inspires some of you guys to you know find your own way of doing your own thing. So in terms of the content style for this channel, um, it's going to be, you know, I want to make it a little bit more unedited, a little bit more unfiltered, not as messy as this video right in here, but, um, you know, something that is kind of in between this and what I used to do on my channel, where it still has some of the, some of the memes, some of the stupid editing. Um, but I still, I, I want to give it to you guys as real and as unfiltered as possible. And I also want to make it a lot more collaborative, um, especially off the channel where I'm going to be, you know, I am going to be opening up my community again. Um, I'm not sure whether it's going to stay on Discord or if I'm going to start a school community. Um, I will let you guys know, but I do want this to be a little bit more collaborative where I am able to incorporate your feedback as my audience and as my community a little bit better into the into basically how I run this channel and how I provide value to you guys. Um, what else? And I'm obviously going to talk about, you know, basically all the strategies that are working for me and my agency, including the outreach, sales, um, offer, um, all that good stuff, right? I guess the last thing I have to say to the people watching this is thank you to those of you who have been here since, you know, I was a 500 sub channel, a 10 sub channel, or when I was coming up in the, you know, SMMA world. Um, and, you know, for those of you who are watching now, right, for... Because, like I said earlier, I didn't even want to start an agency. I didn't even want to, like, do all this shit. I just wanted to be a fucking YouTuber at the beginning, right? I just wanted to fucking pursue my passion and do a bunch of cool stuff and make videos and help a bunch of people, right? And the fact that I'm able to sit here today and, you know, be a full-time entrepreneur, be someone who actually has an audience and someone who has people who actually cares about what he says and you know have all these people that have actually helped with my content you know and that's you know it's 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 really easy for me to just kind of take these things for granted because i'm always stuck in the day-to-day -day of my business um but sometimes you know i'm reminded that this is like this was literally my dream life like three years ago and to be able to sit here and talk to you guys and you know have you guys come back and watch my stuff that really means a lot to me um, and you know, you, you guys have basically allowed me to live my dream life where <laughs> I am a YouTuber, I am a full-time entrepreneur, I have quit my nine to five and you know, I'm, I'm really grateful for that. Um, a lot of the time I forget that and you know, I think this is really cool. Um, and with that in mind, with that being said, I want to do my very best to give you guys, you know, as much value as I can, um, and to, just, just do the best I can as someone who you've placed your trust in, who you've given your time and attention to. And I don't, I don't want to take that for granted. And so if you're watching this, if you've been watching my contents, thank you. Um, and I will do my very best to make more sick content for you guys. Um, and as you can see, I don't, I don't really have much energy in this video because I've been kind of out of it for several months. I don't have that same kind of um, energy that I used to, but I think I'll be back pretty soon. Um, but thank you again. Um, I'm very, you know, I'm pretty hyped to talk about my new journey, my new business, um, my new agency, and I want to be able to help you guys as much as possible. So if you have any questions, if you have any comments, if you have any ideas for what you want to see on this channel, um, what you're struggling with, or what you want to see from my community, let me know in the comments below. Or if you just want to talk shit, um say whatever also put it in the comments that's cool but either way thanks for being a part of this and i'll see you guys in the next video